I'm Joe Kaczynski reporting from Photonics West out in San Francisco. We are covering everything from the biggest events, the startup challenge, the award winners, all that recap on a very special episode of Photonics Spectra Now. Photonics Spectra Now is brought to you by Nifors. Advanced specialty fiber processing designed for the highest demands. To learn more, go to nifors.com. And by Lightpath Technologies, a recognized leader in providing advanced optics and photonic solutions to diverse industries. Visit lightpath.com for more information. For the past three days, people have been coming in to see what the big innovations are in photonics. Exhibitors have been sharing information and networking with other groups. The largest photonics event in the world features the most innovative research in everything from biophotonics to quantum technologies. Advancing their technologies with new product launches. They're in the conference rooms talking about great breakthroughs that are going to bring their research forward. And that synergy between the conference rooms and the exhibit halls is really what makes Photonics West a great event to be at. Kevin Probasco, SPIE Director of Marketing, says they're expecting an even bigger turnout than last year that saw 23,000 guests registered. This week, more than 1,300 exhibitors lined the halls of the Moscone Center and more than 5,000 presentations were held. Some of the trending topics from Photonics West include the rise of AI and the need for advanced data centers to run those systems, a better understanding of quantum with more companies trying to commercialize this tech, and an increased focus on center integration as groups continue to find new applications for these systems. And along with all the breakthroughs and forums making waves, SPIE had their own big announcement to make. Photonics West 25 is big, 26 is going to be even bigger. We're going to move over to West and fill up Moscone West as well by adding a vision tech symposium, uh, and that's going to allow a new application area that is sort of sprinkled around Photonics West, but it's going to be concentrated on machine vision and vision tech and components uh, over at West. That's going to allow the companies that are here at Photonics West to also grow their space. There could be some new faces at next year's event. SPIE Startup Challenge honored some of the newest businesses and products at Photonics West. These groups are finding new uses for photonics to address areas of need within healthcare and deep tech. Along with the pride of being recognized among their peers, the winners were given a cash prize to help further their mission. The first place is Next IR Lens. Lens, sorry. Lens. It's a big deal. It was, it was um, really unexpected, I have to say, because there were a lot of good presentations that I uh, just sat and watched. And so, um, yeah, it's an honor to, to be selected for the win. As a very early stage startup, I just finished my PhD as being on this company and definitely select into the finalists as well as win an award is very encouraging for me. Photonics was everywhere in San Francisco, but it wasn't just limited to the convention center. I'm on my way to day two of Photonics West and I thought, what better way to go than by a car literally driven by Photonics? You may notice uh, my car lacks a driver. It's, it's just me in the back seat, no one else, and uh, I'm in a Waymo. These cars are powered by LiDAR sensors, custom-built maps, and AI to learn the area and get its passenger to its destination safely. It definitely feels a little weird to be in the back seat of a car with no driver in the front, but, you know, I'm, I'm back here, it's obeying all the traffic laws, it's a pretty smooth drive, even with a couple people trying to cut us off, it, it you know, it adjusts nicely. Advanced tech like this can only hit the road after years of research culminates in a daring new innovation. Every year at Photonics West, the latest innovations across an array of fields are honored at the PRISM Awards. Products in biomedical, lasers, quantum tech, and other categories were recognized. And for the second year, SPIE presented its Catalyst Award to groups championing programs that make an impact on society and the environment. And the winner is... Shot AG. <laughs> SHOT earned the honors for its work to decarbonize by producing glass with 100% hydrogen fuel, cutting out natural gas and reducing emissions. Photonics West was the epicenter of innovation this week, but let's take a moment to recap some of the other top stories happening outside the Moscone Center. Photonic computing company iPronix raised more than $20 million to boost deployment of its new optical networking engine in AI data centers. Bridger Photonics selected Ben Little as its next CEO, replacing founder Pete Roos, who will now serve as Chief Innovation Officer. And IQE, a supplier of compound semiconductor wafer products, is partnering with Quintessen to advance work on quantum dots for AI. Well, that does it for this episode of Photonic Spectra Now. Remember, you can catch a complete recap of the week's events on our website, photonics.com. Be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms and stay with Photonic Spectra for everything that's photonics. I'm Joe Kaczynski, and thanks for watching.